Uh, what we have here, guys, is question one. What question one says is solve the following equation. So it's x squared minus 1x minus 20 equals 0. Uh, I call the last number, I call this the reference number. The reference number of minus 20. I then come up with two numbers that will multiply by each other to give you uh, minus 20. But yet when you add them, they'll give you minus 1. Any suggestions? Minus 5 and plus 4. You can go, sh because it's an x squared equation, you can go straight in. Some of you might go the longer way, that's no bother either. So we're going to get x equals, sh x minus 5 equals 0, x plus 4 equals 0, uh, x equals 5, x equals minus 4. Now, yes? If you get it right every time, yes. But uh, I'd be hesitant about skipping steps. Uh, now, guys, that's the first part. Now, the word hence, what, what does that usually mean? Hence. That's that's a, that's the exact definition of it. Using your using your previous work, solve this. What is the similarities between the one we just did and the one that we're looking at now? Something squared minus something minus twenty equals zero. Would you agree with that? But in the first one, we used x to represent the something. So whatever this something is, it will either equal five or it will equal minus 4. Now what is the something we're using? We're now replacing that with 2k plus 2 over k and that's a 2k plus 2 over k. Is everybody getting to that step? Y you solve the normal equation and whatever is in the brackets in the in the hence equation is equal to the answers from the first part every time. Okay so now what we have is uh, two separate questions so this is one of them here Bring the 5 down, and then the other one is this one over this one right here. Okay, you can see they both have the same structure as each other, so we're going to solve them uh, separately. Just put a line down the middle. Now, they need a common denominator. What can I do with them? So that'd be k squared, a k on the bottom, and then cancels. Uh, no, uh, it's not a 2k because the, the 2 already had a k underneath it. So it's going to be 2k squared minus 5k plus 2 equals 0. Do the same thing for this one. k on bottom. What does that turn into then? k squared then k on the bottom. Minus 4k. Bring it over. Uh, the k's on the bottom cancel again. Then you get 2k squared plus 4k plus 2. Uh, that one's divisible by 2, isn't it? So k squared plus 2k plus 1 equals 0. <coughs> Start off with the easy one. Easy marks. Take them while they're there. Uh, reference number of 1. So what does that mean? Reference number of 1, guys. P plus 1 and. And uh, Higgins, what you say is that the answer would be minus 1 then. All right, so k equals minus 1 is one answer. Now what about the... What about the next one, guys? What about this one here? What's the reference number this time? 4. We have to do it the long way. What two numbers will multiply to give you 4, but yet add together to give you minus 5? Uh, 3 and 2 won't multiply to give you 4. Two and, mm, 2 and 2 will multiply to give you 4, but they won't add to give you minus 5. 4 and 1. Good man. Minus 4, minus 1. Uh, take your choice which order you want them in, it doesn't really matter. Minus 4k, minus 1k, 1k, plus 2. Okay, what do we take out of the first two? 2k, bracket k, minus 2. After that. And then what goes in here? Minus 1. Alright, finish it off guys. 2k minus 1. k minus 2 equals 0. After that. Uh, yeah, k minus 2 equals 0, and 2k minus 1 equals 0, 2k equals 1, k equals a half, k equals 2. And there's your answer. Uh, it's like three questions in one, isn't it? Every question seems to have three, three questions in it. Okay, so it is time, time consuming. Uh, what was that on the clock? That's me doing it in five minutes, so like, that, that'd probably be you guys in maybe seven or eight. Okay. So, <coughs> go again, next one. 
Uh, question four. So guys, any ideas on question four? Solve this one first. So what happens here? Yeah, it's x minus two, x minus four. I won't. I won't. I need to start going a bit faster with the first part. And would I, uh, did everybody get four and two? Okay, I hope so. Now, this one has the same structure as the last one. Something squared minus six times something plus eight equals zero. What we know is when you have a, a, a equation that's structured like this, yes. Here, uh, the two minuses will multiply together to give you plus eight. So when it's when it's a plus number at the end, it can be two minuses or two pluses. And then you have to look at the middle number. If the middle number is a minus, then you have to choose two minus numbers that will add together to give you the, the minus six in the middle. Okay. So uh, what you're doing next, guys, is uh, it's going to be x plus one over x is what's now inside the bracket, right? And that is now going to be equal to two. See the way they're reusing the same the, the letter. Uh, I always found that hard to take in, in when I was first learning this. Like they're they're reusing a letter we already used. Do you understand? We did we not already say x is two, and did we not already say x is four? But look, don't overthink it. Just do what you did in the last two questions. Whatever the answer is to the general structure, whatever is in here, just put it equal to the answer of the of the easier question. So. This is what we're looking at here, this, these two parts here, so we'll bring that one down here, and then this one goes down here. Now, what's step one? So, x on the bottom, x on top, this one, squared, this one, and this one. Right, the x's cancel. What are we left with now, on top? x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, it's going to be x minus 1. Now, Rory, see the, see the plus at the end? And see the way it's a minus in the middle? Minus 1 by minus 1 gets me my plus 1 when I multiply them. When I add them, they give me minus 2 in the middle. So, that's, that's why I'm going for that. So, x equals 1. And then for the other one, x squared... Whoa! Did I definitely get minus 4 for that? The next one needs a minus b formula. Did anybody get that? Yeah, minus b formula. Unusual. Uh, minus b formula for this, guys. a equals 1, b equals minus 4, and c equals 1. So we need the minus b formula. Minus b formula plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So what happens next? Uh, 4 plus or minus... 16 minus 4 times 1 times 1 all over 2 times 1. We're going to get next 4 plus or minus square root of 12 over 2. I'm really lazy, so this is the way I do it. So lazy. Now, plus root 12 all over 2. Ah, 2 plus root 3. Okay, and if if one of them is the plus answer, what's the next one? The minus answer. That's your three answers. That one, that one, and that one. Are we happy enough with that? Uh, no, you can do it or decimal. It didn't specify, so I could uh, I could technically uh, put them in decimals as well. I think thirds is a really clean way of doing it, though, so I, I like third forms. But either is acceptable unless I specify. Everybody knows how to turn them into decimals? Cool. Now, uh, this one here, would everybody know how to do that one? You just solve the first equation really quickly by doing uh, x minus 11 plus 24 over x. What's a good way of doing that? And then you just solve s squared minus 11x plus 24 equals 0. Uh, look, it's x minus 3, x minus 8. And then I'll just start going a bit faster. x equals 3, x equals 8. Easy enough, right? Move up to the top. Instead of x, what do you have this time? 
So x squared minus 2x is either equal to 3 or it's equal to 8. So we're going to have x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. That's going to get me uh, x minus 3, x plus 1 equals 0. Uh, x, is going to, x minus 3 equals 0, x equals 3, x plus 1 equals 0, x equals minus 1. That's one of them done, yeah? I haven't got space for the other one at the moment, so I'm just going to get rid of that. You can have a look at it later on. Uh, this one here. Bring the 8 over to the other side, and what happens? x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. x minus 4, x plus 2 equals 0. x plus 2 equals 0. x equals minus 2. x minus 4 equals 0. x equals 4. That wasn't that bad, was it? That's easy. This one. Solve the really easy one x minus 5, x minus 4 equals 0, x equals 5, x equals 4. Everybody happy with that first one? Okay, next one. Instead of x, you now have a new number. What number do you have instead of x? Y, don't you? Eh, square root of y. Because look, y is exchanged, eh, sorry, x squared, y is where x squared used to be. Would you agree with that? And instead of x, we have root y. So root y equals x. Would you agree with that? Root y is where the gap should be. So this means that root y equals 5, and the square root of y equals 4. What is, what, what, square root of what number gives you 5? 25. Does everybody understand that root 25 is 5? Or you can square both sides. If you square square root, what happens? It disappears. Square both sides. There you go. That was a, that was an odd one. The main thing, it was if it was really sewn in on one part, is remember your answers are x on its own, isn't it? Your answer is x on its own. So because your answer is x on its own, x on its own is located in the middle beside the 9. So compare it to what's on its own in the middle of the of the similar equation. It's root y. So root y is going to be 5 and 4. That's where we would have got that from. Finally, these ones come up all the time. Now these ones are the most important ones. They come up in all the other exercises, okay? What do you do with x to the power of 4? Anybody have any suggestions? Anybody know a trick for this? Until what you say? S close. What what type of uh, equations have we done until now? Quadratic equations. We're only ever going to do quadratic equations. Now let me show you a trick. Okay. What is x four? X four is the same thing as. Uh, e you're, you're right, but x squared, 2b squared, yeah? Uh, what is, uh, so what I might suggest you do is this. I might suggest you rewrite, we'll do the second one, not the first one, okay? I suggest you rewrite this as this. x squared, 2b squared is still x4, isn't it? 17x2, still the same thing, isn't it? Plus 16. Now, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is we're going to uh, we're going to choose a letter. Pick any letter you want, bar x. B. Let b be equal to x squared. Now, what does this e equation come now? B squared, yes. Minus seventeen b, plus sixteen. And uh, what happens next? What's the reference number? 16. What two numbers? Okay, so what we get is uh, b minus 16, b minus 1 equals 0. Now, this means that uh, b is going to equal 16 and b is going to equal 1. Now, the whole point of the question is not to find out what b is, it was to find out what? x was okay so to find out what x was we're going to have to uh, replace remember we specified that b is x squared 
So this means x squared equals 16 or x squared equals 1. What this question means is what number when you multiply it by itself gives you 16? Okay, that's one answer. There's another answer for that one. Minus 4. Because minus 4 by minus 4 gives you plus 16. So what about this one here? 1 and minus 1. And there we go. So look at uh, 10 part 1 done exactly the same way.